I wanted to find something that, that was like uh, really like a kind of soul, acoustic soul of Rome. And I thought, I, I became quite interested in the Roman aqueducts and the fact that under the streets of Rome, you have these uh, wonderful tunnels with water flowing from, the, from these ancient springs. And uh, the most famous of all of these is called the Aqua Virgine, and it ends its journey at the Trevi Fountain. And uh, the more I thought about this and had conversations with a, a, a good friend of mine in Rome uh, who knew, knew a lot about this history, I became really convinced that this was an idea to develop. And then uh, as I, uh, you know, st I mean, I started researching the locations in Rome where I could have access to this uh, ancient spring and how to work with it in that way. But then uh, also thinking of the architecture and designing a system where there's many uh, small loudspeakers on all of these um, kind of uh, foot walkways and ramps in, that you see in, in this uh, space, so that the sounds of this mo moving water are flowing in the space. It's a kind of, kind of uh, sonic choreography uh, project. I did a, quite a bit of research about where to take sound, where to record it, a lot of thinking about the kind of technology I would use to make the recordings, which consists of either acoustic microphones, uh, under, an underwater microphone, acoustic microphones, an underwater microphone, and uh, a vibration sensor called an accelerometer. And I have these kind of devices with me. I have two digital recorders. I have a high definition video camera. So I plan the recordings I'm going to make. And I am I'm kind of like a scientist when I go into these situations. And, you know, I've worked working for so many years doing this stuff. I know how to work. I know, you know, how to use these tools. And I follow my instincts now. Post-production is, well, I'm hoping if we get the right financial support that I can do this as a real-time live sound sculpture because I think it would be amazing to be able for someone to walk into the space, to have all of this, these beautiful sounds, kind of to be immersed in this, in this and to understand that all the sounds that they were hearing were actually really happening at the same moment. That they were, I mean, to me, that would be the top way to do it, to have a, a real live connection to this acoustic soul of Rome. I'd like them to feel like they entered another dimension of reality. You know, they come in here and all of a sudden they're enveloped in this very sensual uh, sort of uh, uh, presence of sound that's, that's flowing and it's really almost translating the visual appearance of the architecture in, into sound. And I, I, I mean, I, I can't tell people how to feel, but I think they'd feel something.